patients are prone to developing infections, uh, particularly shingles, which is actually a, a viral infection from chickenpox that people have usually acquired when they were children, uh, and it becomes active uh, under stresses. So one of the stresses with myeloma is the disease itself, but also treatments. So treatments like the proteasome inhibitors, uh, bortezomib can particularly predispose to shingles. So we do recommend that myeloma patients receive antiviral preventive medications, uh, particularly during uh, treatment with any of those proteasome inhibitors, bortezomib, exazomib, uh, carfilzomib, as well as with uh, daratumumab, a monoclonal antibody, and also at other times when the immune system is a bit weaker, such as after a stem cell transplant. Uh, at our center, we give uh, antiviral treatment for about a year after a stem cell transplant until the immune, immune system has had some time to recover. Uh, there are many different kinds of antiviral drugs we could use. Uh, the most common one is acyclovir, and at our center, our dose used is 400 milligrams twice a day for as long as uh, you're on the proteasome inhibitor or, as I said, for a year after transplant. Um, but there are other antiviral agents uh, and doses that are used elsewhere. So there's also valacyclovir and famcyclovir. They're, again, variable doses, but they can be used uh, typically around 500 milligrams. And the advantage of these two uh, options are it's once daily instead of twice daily. Um, there are more patients receiving the shingles vaccine these days because there's now an inactivated vaccine that's safe for cancer patients, um, but it's still not uh, completely protective. So we still recommend that uh, when patients are receiving proteasome inhibitors that they receive uh, these antiviral agents uh, even though they've already had a vaccination.